on some of my time. Gentleman from Pennsylvania. Yield back. He should reserve. I yield uh, three minutes to the gentleman, uh, Mr. Hinchy, from New York. is recognized for three minutes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. This uh, resolution before us, House Resolution 861, is an unfortunate farce. It's part of an extension of the political propaganda which has come from the Republican Party in defense of their so-called war on terror. Not the first example. We've had many others. Some of the highest ranking members of this administration have purposefully and intentionally misled this Congress and the American people by providing them with wrong information. We saw it right here in the House of Representatives when the President himself talked about how the British had learned that Iraq was importing enriched uranium from Niger. He was told before he delivered that speech that there was no evidence that that was true. And yet, he came here and said it and put the responsibility on Great Britain, knowing that what he was saying was untrue. It is a criminal violation of federal law, two criminal violations of federal law, to consciously, purposefully, intentionally mislead the Congress, particularly when you are trying to obtain actions from the Congress which result, which result from that purposeful and intentional misleading. What has been the cost? So far, 2,500 American servicemen and women killed in Iraq. We hear today from the Republicans how they honor the servicemen, but they continue to have them killed, wounded, continue to have them suffer on the basis of false information, deceit, and lies. They claim that this is continuing the war on terror. Well, what happened to the real war on terror? We were attacked by the Al-Qaeda. The Al-Qaeda had nothing to do with Iraq. We know that to be the case. We know there were no weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. We know that to be the case. Yet, after we went into Afghanistan, which was providing solace and security for the Al-Qaeda network, and chased Osama bin Laden up into the Tora Bora Mountains, the administration decided, the Defense Department decided, that they were going to abandon the search. Why did they not pursue the person who was responsible for this attack? Well, there's one logical answer to that question. And the answer is, if they had found Osama bin Laden, the rationale for the attack on Iraq would Inspired. disappear. That's why we need to get out. That's Gentlemen's why we need to expired. pass the Bertha Resolution. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm uh, pleased to yield to...